last year. Nearly eight inches of rain has fell in the area since Sunday. Thousands of people have been without power throughout the day and dozens of crashes have been reported and abandoned vehicles have also been seen. Now, thankfully, rivers are expected to crest tonight. There is no rain in the forecast until the weekend. Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, despite our heavy rain, certainly nothing like that. However, some localized uh, minor street flooding, uh, big puddles on some poor drainage areas overnight early uh, tomorrow morning. We picked up an inch of rain so far, another inch overnight through tomorrow morning. So the two day total coming in at around roughly two inches of rain. A light to moderate rain in Providence right now. We're at 50. Winds are out of the northeast at 10. Of course, humidity sky high. No surprise with all the precipitation at 100%. So tracking more rain for tonight. Now at times it's just light to moderate. Other times you get some downpours. So it will be heavy at times. And even an isolated thunderstorm, I'm thinking sometime after midnight into the pre-dawn hours. I don't think everyone will get uh, the rumble of thunder, but certainly a lot of people seeing some downpours overnight and the wet weather continues on Wednesday. Now, as far as the intensity, it's a little heavier during the morning. It's more showery and lighter during the afternoon, not scattered, uh, not quite as heavy, but damp the second half of the day as well. Looking for spring sunshine, even warm temperatures. Why not? Well, we have to wait till uh, the Friday Saturday time frame we'll get temperatures that'll be well into the 70s. Even by a Thursday afternoon, we'll start to warm things up a little bit. So you see uh, waves of moisture coming in uh, off the ocean in response to a storm to our south. I mean, you can clearly see the counterclockwise swirl around the area of low pressure near the Carolina coastline. This is going to track north and east very slowly next uh, 24 hours, bringing with it uh, bands of rain and some increasing wind along the coastline, though the wind speed's not extreme. So that's what it looks like right now. Take it into the future. You see that area of low pressure drifting slowly towards our coastline tomorrow afternoon into early tomorrow evening, eventually taking the, the steady rain away. It becomes a lot lighter tomorrow afternoon. And you see drier air off to our west. This is coming in for a Thursday as well as Friday and Saturday. At this point, shower chances for both Friday and Saturday would be small. I wouldn't rule it out, but I think both of those days should end up being mainly warm and dry. Future cast overnight watch the time bar right up in here showing the bands of at times heavy rain coming through denoted by the areas in orange and yellow. Now this is seven o'clock in the morning. Note the temperatures are a lot milder, upper 50s to low 60s. So your morning commute is slower. Uh, heavy rain, some areas of fog allow a little extra travel time. And then as we get into the afternoon hours, this is around uh, 1, 2 o'clock. You don't see as much green. That's not to say tomorrow afternoon is dry. It's still damp, but it becomes more showery, a little lighter. Temperatures closer to seasonable averages in the lower 60s. Tomorrow evening for the commute coming home. Cloudy skies, damp, either occasional drizzle or light rain showers and temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Rainfall amounts on top of what we've had already, an additional inch to inch and a half overnight uh, through tomorrow morning. So on average, both days uh, today and tomorrow averaging about one to two inches. More rain tomorrow morning, heavy at times early. Temperatures starting off mild at around 60. We'll hold in the lower 60s tomorrow afternoon with the showers becoming lighter and not as widespread. Seven day future cast, a damp start Thursday morning, brighter in the afternoon. Look at both Friday and Saturday. Temperatures both of these days, especially inland away from the coastline, should have no problem getting up into the uh, mid and even the upper 70s. Still, I say Sunday is the tougher call here as far as precipitation. We're still timing this for Sunday night rather than Sunday day. And with the approach of a front, we feel as though it should be cooler on Sunday with temperatures between 60 and 65, which is actually average for this time of year just not as warm as Saturday will be well into the 70s. Take it slow tomorrow morning. Red Sox going to be able to get that game in tomorrow night? Tomorrow evening, uh, much better because it's either drizzle or sprinkles. They can play in that. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Tony.